I'm Dr. Tom Mather, the Tick Guy from the University of Rhode Island. Take it from the Tick Guy. One little episode is all it takes to get a tick. When I'm with people and I'm, and I'm explaining various tick protection strategies, the idea of a tick check comes up. And I often ask people, what does your tick check look like? And invariably, they go like this. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's great. What about the ticks that are crawling up your leg, for instance, because that's mostly what they do, but people always go like this. And so the most important thing to think about when you're doing a tick check is that you need to check the lower extremities first and then sort of move up. So what happens with ticks as they crawl up your leg, the first thing that they meet is sort of the back of your knee and your clothing sort of binds up there. So they're not that aggressive, like climbing through the clothing, so they just stop. If you're wearing tight fitting underwear, for instance, they'll get to the edge of that and they can't go any further on your skin and they just stop and bite there. Similarly, behind your arm where your shirt binds up against your skin, it's another place where they'll stop and just start to bite. So when you think about where to look for ticks, think about places that your clothing will restrict their movement up. So all ticks move up and they will stop where they get sort of held up by the resistance of your clothing. Once you're finished doing a tick check on yourself, if you have a pet, it's important to do a tick check on your pet as well. When ticks latch on to hosts, whether it's a person or a pet, they tend to move towards the head region. So the head region is often a place to check for ticks, especially on a pet. Ticks will also sort of climb up on their legs and often will end up in the axial regions of the, of the dog or cat. And so it's good to check under the arms as well and at the base of the tail. These are all places where ticks will get hung up by either the fur or sort of a, a crease in the skin. But those are really important places to check when you're checking your pet for ticks.